Okay, so problem 5 states that the two-point charge charges 3Q and negative Q are separated by a distance A. For each of the arrangement below, so arrangement A, B, and C, find the monopole moment, uh, the dipole moment, and the approximate potential in spherical coordinates at, la at large R, including both monopole and dipole uh, contributions. So in solving for the monopole uh, moment, um, it's just a very easy. So we'll just first tackle the three uh, arrangements and finding their uh, monopole at the same time. So fi we're finding monopole of these three uh, arrangement. So monopole uh, deals only with the present charge. So uh, our present charge for figure A, let's divide this paper into three parts. For the charge for arrangement A, for this one, arrangement A, it's monopole or the present charges are 3Q and negative Q. So therefore, our monopole here is equal to at A is equal to 2Q. On the arrangement B, the present uh, charges here are also 3Q and uh, negative Q. Therefore, the charge for uh, the monopole for B is equal to 2Q. And the uh, arrangement C, arrangement C's uh, monopole is equal to the present charge R, uh, negative Q and positive 3Q. Therefore, our, um, our monopole for arrangement C is equal to 2Q. So for finding for the dipole moment, uh, we're given uh, an equation to solve for the dipole moment. So we'll use this formula. So this formula, uh, we'll use this formula to get the three dipole moment, uh, the dipole moment of this three arrangement. So we will use that one. So P, vector P is equal to the summation of I is equal to uh, 1, 2N, QI dotted R prime vector. So it can also be equal to uh, Q uh, R plus minus R negative or minus. So we distribute this one. So if we have a, a charge here, we just simply say 3Q times the positive uh, distance of uh, the location of the 3Q. We'll put this as a uh, A. And for the discharge, for the negative Q charge, we have minus negative Q and it's located at the origin therefore we will multiply this by 0 so negative Q times 0 is 0 so we have 0 here and if I'm not mistaken our uh, answer for dipole moment at the Z unit vector Z because we're on the Z axis we, will, we should not uh, forget unit vector Z so our dipole moment for arrangement A is equal to 3Q Z. So this is your dipole moment for the arrangement A. The dipole moment for arrangement B is equal to uh, 3Q. This is the 3Q. The 3Q's uh, or, uh, location is at the origin, so we will multiply it by uh, 0. 
and minus the negative Q negative Q will be multiplied by this uh, location which is the negative side of the x-axis so we will multiply this by uh, negative um, we will multiply this by negative A and where the location of this one is at Z or Z axis or the unit vector Z so 3Q times 0 is 0 so we're left with uh, negative times negative is a positive QA uh, Z hat so this is your uh, dipole moment for arrangement B okay so for the dipole moment of the third arrangement we have PC is equal to the location of the charge of negative Q is um, and zero so we will put negative Q times zero minus the location of the 3, uh, 3Q or the charge times its location at positive um, A at Y axis or unit vector Y we we're not for uh, we should not forget unit vector Y you multiplied negative Q to zero we'll have a result of zero therefore our uh, dipole moment for arrangement C is 3 Q A Y hat okay so if we don't want to get confused with this negative and negative we may uh, we may put positive here so that uh, we will not be uh, um, I recall this one we will not be confused with the uh, arrangement since uh, distance of uh, R negative charge R is also negative when you take a look at here your distance here should be negative therefore there's no need to put minus sign here because if we multiply the negative part or negative distance to ne to the minus it will just become positive so therefore to avoid confusion we'll just put a positive here because sometimes we're being careless with um uh putting uh, uh of the we're careless with the arrangements of the distance to where to which is uh, uh the charge is positive to where the charge is negative uh, location so we'll just consider putting positive since we're putting a negative uh, signs on the uh, location of those uh, charges located at the negative position so let's put positive so that will not be confused. okay so next in solving the approximate potential uh, in a spherical coordinates at large or including both monopole and dipole contribution we will have a formula which is V is equal to V monopole plus V or the potential dipole so what will be the value for this uh, V monopole and V dipole if you recall the formula that we studied um, a long time ago we have given this formula okay so for V monopole or V mon we have a formula of 1 let me just copy the formula for V monopole and V dipole 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R plus the potential for the dipole its formula is 1 over uh, 4 pi epsilon naught times uh, 1 over r hat uh, r hat r squared 1 over r squared 
times the vector, unit vector R, multiplied by P. So we can just straightly multiply this one so that we can, uh, we'll we can just remove one. So in solving for the um, potential at the arrangement A, we'll have to use this formula. So our Q in the earlier solving that our Q we calculate that our Q or the monopole is um, 2Q and divided by the given uh, formula 4 pi epsilon naught R and for our dipole we have before we calculate for our dipole, we must know R hat first. So the value for our R hat is, so let R hat, or our R hat should be equal to uh, cosine theta. Okay, so for our R hat, we'll have uh, uh, this one first. So our P on the earlier solving is 3 QZ. 3 QZ and the cosine, cosine theta divided by 4 pi epsilon not R squared. So this is your potential for arrangement A. For arrangement B, we have B is equal to our charge again is 2Q on the uh, monopole of second arrangement B 4 pi epsilon naught R uh, according to the formula plus the calculations on the <clears throat> dipole moment of the arrangement B is QAZ hat so here if you recall this one again we have um, Q, uh, Q A Z hat and don't forget the R hat the R hat is cosine theta all over the given formula 4 by epsilon naught R squared so this is our uh, potential for the arrangement B. And finally, for our um, potential, potential at uh, C, arrangement C, or again, our uh, monopole for this, uh, for the arrangement C is also 2Q. And copy the formula for pi epsilon not R plus our dipole. Uh, moment for arrangement C is 3Q uh, Y hat forgot to put the hat here so 3Q Y hat uh, cosine theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared so this is now the final uh, answer for the potential at arrangement See.